The human sexual response cycle is a four-stage model of physiological responses to sexual stimulation. The excitement phase, also known as the arousal phase, is the first stage of the human sexual response cycle, which occurs as a result of physical or mental erotic stimuli, such as kissing, making out, or viewing erotic images that lead to sexual arousal. During this stage, the body prepares for sexual intercourse, initially leading to the plateau phase. Physical and emotional interaction and stimulation of the erogenous zone during foreplay usually establishes some initial arousal. Stimuli can be classified according to the sense involved – somatosensory, touch, visual and olfactory – scent. The cognitive aspects of sexual arousal in men are not completely known, but the state does involve the appraisal and evaluation of the stimulus. Research suggests that cognitive factors like sexual motivation, perceived gender role expectation, and sexual attitudes play important roles in women's self-reported levels of sexual arousal. In males, the beginning of the excitement phase is observed when the penis becomes partially or fully erect, often after only a few seconds of erotic stimulation. Physiologically, erection is triggered by the parasympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system, causing the levels of nitric oxide a vasodilator to rise in the trabecular arteries and smooth muscle of the penis. The arteries dilate, causing the corpora cavernosa of the penis and to a lesser extent the corpus spongiosum to fill with blood. The penis grows enlarged and firm, the skin of the scrotum is pulled tighter and the testes are pulled up against the body. In females, the excitement phase can last from several minutes to several hours. The onset of vasocongestion results in swelling of the woman's clitoris, labia minora and vagina. The muscle that surround the vaginal opening grows tighter and the uterus elevates and grows in size. The vaginal walls begin to produce a lubricating organic liquid. Meanwhile, the breasts increase slightly in size and nipples become hardened and erect. Plateau phase. During this phase, the male urethral sphincter contracts so as to prevent urine from mixing with semen and to guard against retrograde ejaculation, and muscles at the base of the penis begin a steady rhythmic contraction. The plateau stage in females is basically a continuation of the same changes evident in the excitement stage. The clitoris becomes extremely sensitive and withdraws slightly, and the Bartolin glands produce further lubrication. Orgasm phase Orgasm is experienced by both males and females. It is accompanied by quick cycles of muscle contraction in the lower pelvic muscles, which surround both the anus and the primary sexual organs. Women's orgasm have been estimated to last on average approximately 20 seconds and to consist of a series of muscular contractions in the pelvic area that include the vagina, the uterus and the anus. As orgasm becomes imminent, the outer third of the vagina tightens and narrows, while overall the vagina lessens and dilates. Discussions of female orgasm are complicated by orgasms in women typically being divided into two categories – clitoral orgasm and vaginal or G-spot orgasm. During orgasm, a human male experiences rapid rhythmic contractions of the anal sphincter, the prostate and the muscles of the penis. The sperm are transmitted up the vas deferens from the testicles into the prostate gland as well as through the seminal vesicles to produce what is known as semen. The process takes from 3 to 10 seconds and produces a pleasurable feeling. This results in an increase in heart rate, breathing rate and a rise in blood pressure. Under the control of the sympathetic nervous system, the semen is ejected through the urethra with rhythmic contractions. After the start of orgasm, pulses of semen begin to flow from the urethra reach a peak discharge and then diminish in flow. The typical orgasm consists of 10 to 15 contractions. Once the first contraction has taken place, ejaculation will continue to completion as an involuntary process. At this stage, ejaculation cannot be stopped. The resolution phase occurs after orgasm and allows the muscles to relax, blood pressure to drop and the body to slow down from its excited state. The refractory period, which is part of the resolution phase, is the time frame in which usually a man is unable to orgasm again, though women can also experience a refractory period.